Alrighty then, this is um, kind of a real quick video regards to this uh, battery charge controller uh, model XH as in Henry, M as in Mary, 604. Um, these can be got off of eBay. I, I'll put the price on the screen when I edit the video. Uh, they're not expensive. Um, the gist of how this works is that uh, you hook it up to a battery and we're talking about a, a, a standard battery charger not a smart battery charger um, and when the battery voltage drops below a certain preset range you um, this relay will engage and the, the voltage coming in from the battery charger will charge the battery and then after that it's supposed to uh, shut off when the voltage reaches a predetermined setting. Um, one thing to note about these, um, there's no information on the maximum amperage, there's just information on the maximum voltage. Um, and I'll put that information on the screen as well. Uh, however, if you look on here, this has a a 30 amp, 250 volt, 30 volt DC, uh, one horsepower, 120 volt AC, half horsepower, 240 volt AC, 30 amp, 240 volt AC relay. What that means is, is that this relay can handle 30 amps. Um, however, you really should not try to put 30 amps through this. Um, the main reason is on this side these traces here which are maybe about 3 sixteenths, no they're not even that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 64 wide um, that can't handle 30 amps. Um, actually, I did some looking up, and to handle 30 amps requires something on the order of several inches wide trace. Um, now, you can improve this. See, as this sits, I think this can only handle maybe an amp or two. Uh, I'd have to look it up. What you'll need to do is get yourself some 14 gauge wire and solder it across these contacts, solder across these contacts, and then join these two contacts. Um, and then you might be able to get 10 to 15, maybe 20 amps out of it. Um, I would not try to put 30 amps through it. Most batteries and battery chargers only do like a maximum of eight amps. So, you know, um, you could also hook this up to a, a, a dumb trickle charger, which is only a couple of amps, because really that's what would happen is if this, um, if you had this hooked to a battery and it was slowly going down over time, then um, you'd only want to bring it up with a trickle charge. Um, I mean, you could use this with an in-use battery, but I wouldn't do that. Um, and as far as I know, there's no provision for um, any kind of protection outside of the unit. Also, when this solenoid or this relay is engaged, voltage can go backwards as well as forwards. Um, I would recommend that it would probably be a good idea on this side to put a, a diode that can handle the amperage, 
that you want going in. Um, you really don't want the battery back. Uh, I have this hooked up in my charge controller for my generator, and I had to put in a diode here because this, when the battery was plugged in, if the voltage was too low, it would engage this, and this would power the buck converter. And you don't want this thing powering anything, because then that's going to run the battery down. Right now, this is hooked up to my bench supply, which is putting out about 14 volts DC. And you can see it's not on. It's not powered by the charge controller which I think is a bad idea. Um, there may be a reason for that because, you know, this thing senses the battery voltage. Right now it's not hooked up to a battery. And you want it to turn on, but I, ideally I would really want this thing to be powered by the charge controller, if it's a dumb charger, than by the battery, because that's just going to run the battery down. So I'm going to connect the battery. Um, I just have a simple sealed lead, lead acid battery and you can see it's set to 12 point, it's got 12.2 volts on the battery. Um, the red light has just come on which indicates that it's charging. I don't know if you heard the click. Uh, to program this you hold down so you press it once, you get the voltage that it will turn on. In other words, if the, uh, the voltage of the battery is below or reaches a certain voltage, it turns on, and then this button shows the voltage it's supposed to turn off. Um, I think that's the correct way. Either way, to program it, you hold down the button, it flashes, Press the same button to reduce. And then just wait. And it will stop flashing and will set the voltage. The other side. And that's it. Um, as I said before, you don't want to run this with a smart battery charger. Um, it, this is for a, a dumb battery charger, something that just puts out 12 volts, 6 volts, uh, it can handle 24 volts. Um, according to the website, I'm sure it says you can handle more than that, but this relay says that it can only handle uh, 30, 30 volts DC, so I wouldn't exceed that. Um, And uh, that's about it.